Hey everyone, welcome back to another video in the Java Basics series on the Tech YouTube channel. Today's video is a walkthrough of an online shopping program written in Java. So without further ado, let's get started. So here is how I will be making this online shopping Java program. I'll be writing the code for this program inside of the online shopping.java file on my computer inside of the code editor Sublime Text. And then I'll be running the code inside of the Java online compiler from Replit. So let's first think about what we want our program to eventually achieve when it's done. We want to simulate some sort of online shopping experience for a customer. We want to have essentially a customer trying to buy something. And the main part of this is to be able to correspond a product with a price. So let's just first make a class and see how it goes from there. So let's write a class called, let's call it main, because in the replit environment, we have to have a class called main. And inside of the main class, we'll need a main method in which we will write our code. So because we will likely need user interaction, we'll probably need that, Let's just first import java.util.scanner. So we need the scanner class to interact with the user using input. So let's make a scanner object, sc, which is equal to a new scanner passing in system.in. This is pretty standard code right here. And let's say I want to make a bookstore today. So let's print out welcome to the Java bookstore. Now let's think about what we want to sell. We obviously want to sell, well, books, right? So how can we pair up a book with a price? Well, in the last video of this course, we talked about the data structure hash map, which is essentially a list or a collection of key value pairs, which can be very useful here. We can have the keys being the books. So we want to have a bunch of books and the values will be the prices of those books. And that way we can access the prices of each book using the hash map. So let's implement that right here. Now to use a hash map, we first have to import the hash map class. So let's import java.util.hashmap like this. And let's First, make the hash map, so hash map, and we want to have probably string keys and in numerical values. So let's write string, and we'll probably need double since prices are not always whole numbers. And let's call this hash map books. You can call this whatever you want. In fact, you can sell whatever you want inside of your store, whatever store you want to make. You can be selling furniture, you can be selling computers or whatever you want to sell. I'll be selling books today. So let's make a new hash map, string, double, and then parentheses like this. Now, if you remember, in order to put key value pairs inside of a hash map, we'll be using the put method. So books dot put, why don't we write what books will we be selling today? Let's sell Harry Potter, which will be, I'm entirely making up prices here, there for completely no reason whatsoever, $5.99. And let me just copy this line multiple times. Now let's sell, for example, Percy Jackson. You can sell whatever you want again. So let's sell it for $7.12. Great expectations is our next book which will be sold at a price of $19.31. Let's sell one more book, Hunger Games, which is going to be 10.57. Now usually books aren't that completely weird and random prices, but well, we're making our own store today. So, let's just print out books to see what we have after we run this program. So let's just run this inside of the editor. I'll run it again later when the program is complete in Replit. So we can see welcome to the Java bookstore and we have the hash map printed out right here. We have Harry Potter corresponding to a prize, same with the other books as well. So now what we can do is we can ask the user, which book do you want to buy? And 
depending on what the book user wants to buy, we'll be telling them the price of the book. And let's just do that. So what we can do is we can, let's first tell the user which books they can buy and they can choose from there. So let's just print out. Why don't we print out first a prompt? So which book do you want to buy? And we will tell them to enter the book's name. So book name like this. And then for each book name, we'll print out the names of the books. So for each string book inside of the book's hash map, actually we'll be going over the key set of the book the books hash map. We'll print out. Why don't we just print out the books? So book like this. And let's try this out. Which book do you want to buy? Enter the book name. So we have the options right here printed out on these four lines. And the user can enter, say, Harry Potter, and we'll tell them that the book is $599. So let's just do that by saying string let's call this again book which is the book that the user wants to buy so next line and the price of the book we'll be getting through books.get book so the get method is going to look through this hash map it'll look for the book so it will look for harry potter or percy jackson or great expectations and it will give you the value corresponding to that uh, to that key so it will give us 1057, 1931, or something like that. And let's store this inside of a variable called double book price. So double book price is equal to books.get book. And lastly, we just need to print out the price of the book. So book, which is the name of the book, is, oops, not this. So it will be whatever the price is, like this. And let's just print out a goodbye message. So thank you for your purchase. Have a good day. Let me just run this right now and see if it throws any errors. So welcome to the Java bookstore. Which book do you want to buy? And I'll be saying I want Great Expectations today. And you will see that Great Expectations is $19.31, which is exactly what we specified it to be. And thank you for your purchase. Have a good day. I can continue running this. I can enter, for example, Harry Potter. It will tell you that Harry Potter is $5.99, which is correct. Thank you for your purchase. Have a good day. So now I'm going to copy this program into the Java online editor from Replit and see if it works online because some of you may be running this on the browser. So let's run this. And you'll see, welcome to the Java bookstore. Which book do you want to buy? Let's buy Percy Jackson. Percy Jackson 712. Thank you for your purchase. Have a good day. So in this pretty short program, it's only 26 lines long, we we're able to implement a fairly simple online shopping program that uses hash maps to map the names of the products to their prices. And we only have four products, it will only sell books. So there is a lot you can improve in this program. For instance, you can, now this is not something that we've talked about, but feel free to do your own research and learn how to do this on your own. So you can, for instance, put the names of, or put the products and their prices in an external file and read these information from that file into the program and use that information to do the customer interaction. Or perhaps, you can extend this program by adding more products, for instance, or you can have this program continue to run in some sort of loop. Or you can, for instance, sell multiple books each time. So if I want three copies of a book, now what would the price be for that? So there's a lot you can improve in this program. I hope that this is a pretty good demonstration of how you can use hash maps in Java. To quickly review what we learned about in the previous few lessons of this course, in chapter four of the Java basics course, we learned about data collections. We learned about arrays 
and array lists and how they can be used to store lists of data. And then we learned about the for each loop, the enhanced for loop, and how we can use it to easily iterate over arrays and array lists. Then we learned about multi-dimensional arrays, and this is pretty useful because, for instance, things like images can be represented using multi-dimensional arrays. And the last lesson of this chapter, the previous lesson of this chapter, we learned about hash maps which we used today to make this online shopping program. Now, the things we learned about in this chapter are very useful and they have a lot of applications in programming. So I really encourage you to use things like arrays and array lists to make a few fun programs on your own to explore what you can do with them. And that's it for this video. As always, if you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel down below. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section. Our team will be more than happy to help you out. And with that said, thank you very much for watching, and we hope to see you in future videos.